What's up everyone? Thank you all so much for coming back for another video. First off, before we get into the video for today, I want to say thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed. I appreciate all the support, all the love. It feels good to be fully back, fully energized. Last week, getting back into work and into doing videos for YouTube was really not fully all the way there compared to now. And with that said, look out for some new things happening. Finally got stuff wrapped up that I've been working on. I haven't shared much of it with anybody that I remember, but maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but that's neither here nor there. And when that time comes, you all will definitely hear about it. So today's video is going to be about Steve Jobs and calligraphy and how Steve Jobs benefited from learning calligraphy and taking the calligraphy classes that he did. And if at any point in this video, you forget to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe, you know, also always love hearing the feedback and your thoughts on the video topic. You can leave those in the comment section below. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into the now video. continuing. The first thing that calligraphy did for Steve Jobs, and I'm going to talk a bit about how it relates to me currently and how like calligraphy has taught me. So it taught creativity, that creativity is a muscle and also learned about different types of fonts and learned what makes good, well, good or great typography, whichever words you want to use. And I'll say that with me, like it is to the point now where I know what makes great typography as well as knowing that creativity is just a muscle and I have to find a way to be able to use my creative muscle daily, even if that does not require me picking up my pens or opening up Procreate and iPad. It's just many different ways that you could be creative as well as go about building up your creative muscle. And now let's continue with the next All right, one. And the next thing is that it taught him to learn from alternate industries, meaning it opened up his creativity in other areas and offered him diverse experiences. That to me is so relatable because I remember when I first got into calligraphy, I did not know about all these other industries that use calligraphy. For example, weddings. To me, weddings is such a cool thing doing calligraphy for them. And then seeing t-shirts, coffee mugs, ads. I mean, I know about obviously Y'all know I went to school for graphic design, if you're not aware. And I know about graphic design, meaning doing ads, uh, what else? Um, designing book covers. None of this calligraphy stuff, I had any idea about it. To me, it was just all digital fonts in, or digital fonts, typefaces, and, um, Illustrator, Photoshop, or InDesign. Calligraphy was not anything that I was thinking about and or even knew about. And you know, that really opened my eyes up to different experiences and trying out different products, designing different products using calligraphy and or lettering. And it is just something that I definitely recommend people do learn about how you use your creativity in other areas. Therefore, they will allow you to have bigger and better experiences. So you could be designing ads right now for Facebook. Okay, you're doing those type of ads. Why not try your hand at creating a billboard ad, billboard ad and or creating a wrap for a boat? I mean, that is just something completely 
different and you got to take a totally different approach of doing those three things and last but not least this is one of my most favorite things about calligraphy and lettering Whew. you could power off your brain and it gives puts you in a meditative mood and the mood is calming i mean if you get to the point where you are i'm just getting chills talking about it Woo! and you get to the point where it's just like you're in a state of flow you're just writing and everything is just coming to you and just think it is think to yourself like this is perfect and i'm just so relaxed it's like you're not even thinking you're just it's just coming to you and i mean you have to experience it to really fully grasp it all right that is the part where the video has ended i want to tell you once again let me know what your thoughts are about these topics well not topics these things that steve jobs learned from calligraphy and how it helped him also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet give this video a thumbs up and follow me all social media is in the description below and i'll see you in the next video peace and love